you guys welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be giving you guys the what is in my hospital bag tag um I am 38 weeks pregnant and I am due September 12th so hopefully I will be full term and will go into labor on September 12th maybe sooner but if not um yeah we'll see how all of that go but yes I am 38 weeks pregnant now I know that it's been like a really long time since I have brought you guys any type of videos but honestly I honestly have not been in the mood to just really film anything like I've this last trimester of my pregnancy has kind of been like really hard for me so I don't know this last trimester has just been kind of really hard for me so I have not really been trying to film as much as I should I just kind of been chilling on days that I can chill instead of filming but I've been feeling a lot better so I just decided hey why not film a video for a lot so let's just go ahead and get right into the video the first things that i have for my hospital bag are a couple of robes so i have this purple cotton robe this is like one of my favorite robes and it's my favorite color i love purple i just have this because it is very warm and i know in hospitals it could be very cold and this is honestly a really really warm um robe but also with me being pregnant I do get hot a lot so I decided to also pack uh, my silk like robe I think this is silk I don't know what this is but this is like a silky looking type of robe and it just feels really comfortable it's really cool I know that if I get hot I can put this on and out still be covered up and feel you know kind of good this is also from Fre uh, Victoria's Secret and I also have a red one in the same as this black one so I'm going to be wearing those three robes and I also have this um, brown towel this is a dark towel that I decided to bring just because um, labor is messy and it can get super super messy and I just want to um, have like my own dark towel just to have there for myself also have some three tank tops that I'm going to be bringing just to be comfortable like they're kind of loose kind of tight tank tops but I just know that I like the way that they feel and fit on myself I'm also going to bring a pair of leggings well I'm gonna bring two pair of leggings these are my favorite leggings for forever 21 they are very comfortable I'm bringing a pair of loose pajama pants these are my favorite pajama pants they are super 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 loose fitting and they feel really comfortable and easy to like kind of get around in <clears throat> and then I'm also bringing a pair of yoga pants and I did tell you guys that I do pack um, a lot of stuff so I do have like just a bunch of loose fitted shorts that I wanted to bring just because again I might get kind of hot and I don't know if I'm going to want to wear those pants or if I'm going to wear them wear these shorts and I just also have another pair of leggings so I also have this pair of socks these are one of my favorite pairs of socks I'm not a person who honestly like wears socks I don't think they are very comfortable so I will opt out of socks a lot of the time but I do know in the hospital that it is going to be very cold and I do not like the cold at all so I am going to bring these warm fuzzy comfortable socks that I have bringing for myself a bunch of granny panties you need these because like again like I said with the towel it is very messy and these panties are honestly just so comfortable I honestly wear these like kind of now with me being pregnant anyway I, they're just really comfortable and they fit well I'm also bringing this bandeau because I honestly I'm not really a fan of the nursing bras but I am going to purchase a nursing bra I just haven't found one that I like yet to purchase but um, I'm going to get one nursing bra I'm not really going to get a lot just because I feel like it's not really much to just pull down my bra or whatever but I do have this bandeau that I'm going to be bringing with me to make it easier and they're more comfortable to me and I'm also going to be bringing my sports bra and this is for my job Hooters so I'm going to get 
Also, I have like a couple of big t-shirts that I'm going to bring. These t-shirts just fit me really well. They're really big in size. And these will be either if I decide to wear them home or whether I decide to just kind of chill in them while I'm in the hospital. To go home in, I decided that I wanted to be super, super comfortable um, when I'm going home. So I do have a couple of dresses. I have this longer dress that I want to bring. I have a shorter dress that I want to bring that's black. This gray dress that is also um, short. And then another longer gray dress. And all of these clothes honestly are very loose fitting. They are very um, easy to kind of move in again because you don't want to have anything like super tight so you do want to have stuff that is very easy for you to um walk in move in stuff like that Which all of the clothing items that i'm going to be bringing now i'm going to move into some of the other stuff that i'm going to be bringing for myself as well so all right so for regular stuff i'm going to be bringing my deodorant I also will be bringing this um, stretch mark cream that I've been using. I don't have any stretch marks right now and I do not really think I will be too much worried about stretch marks. Like I said, it's going to get messy so you do need to bring pads. I know that the um, doctor does provide or the hospital will provide you with pads but I heard that they were, out of all of the hospital videos that I've watched, I heard that they were just a little bit too uncomfortable. So it is best to kind of just bring your own just in case, you know, you don't like the way that those feel at the hospital. It's better to bring your own. I'm also going to be bringing my headphones just because with everybody in the room, things can get just a little bit hectic. So I do want to bring my headphones so that if I need to tone anything out, I can just pop my headphones in and turn it out because I love listening to music. It's like kind of my scapegoat. I just enjoy music. So much so if I need to tone anything out I will just plug these babies into my phone and do what it do so another thing that I'm going to be bringing is a folder um, this folder I'm just going to be putting all of my papers and things that they hand me inside of so that I can just stick it in my bag and I don't want to have any loose papers around I'm just gonna be bringing this folder so that it's folder so that it's a little bit more easier for me to find things and keep things organized. Um, some things that I did not um, show in the video but that I am going to have are I have Nike slides that I'm going to be bringing also a pair of flip flops that I'm going to be bringing for when I take a shower or just to walk around in. I do have slippers that I'm going to be bringing. I also have lip balm, hair ties and all of my other toiletries but I'm still using them so I just didn't feel like getting them out of the bathroom to just kind of film this video but toothpaste toothbrush um, just kind of essentials daily essentials that I will need your phone your charger stuff like that now so I'm gonna be bringing some breast pads that I didn't show in the video just because they're kind of packed up somewhere I just didn't feel like getting them all out um, just let me just show you guys what my bag is going to be looking like this is how big my bag is that I'm bringing it is a duffel bag it is an old duffel bag that was um, the stuff that I'm bringing for myself now we're going to get into the stuff that I'm bringing for the baby I'm going to show you guys the diaper bag that I will be using um, this is the diaper bag that I'm going to be using I got this bag I will do also a what's in my diaper bag um, hot type of video whenever it's time for me to do that do that but this is the bag that I'll be using to bring all of my baby stuff with me to the hospital. I have in my diaper bag is going to be, or in my, the hospital bag for the baby is just a couple of onesies. Um, I have this cute little onesie. And then I just have a couple of more, a couple more onesies. I have, I don't know which one exactly that I will be wanting to put my son in. And then I have this cute uh, outfit this says his name King Carson that I will want him to come home in and I also have another shirt that I want him to come home in these are just all of his onesies and going home outfits that I picked aside for him to we don't have like a set outfit in mind but I do want to go pick one up so I'm probably just gonna go to Baby's R Us or something like that 
tomorrow and just pick it up and add it into the bag that way I don't have to worry about everything but I have washed all of his clothes um, you do want to make sure that you do that before you put your baby in anything wash your clothes so I did do that cute booties I have some booties for him so that his feet don't get cold while we're in the hospital I also have a couple of socks that were gifted to me at my baby shower that I'm just gonna put on his feet so that he can stay warm his hospitals again are really cold I'm bringing a couple hats for his head so that he can wear them a couple cute hats um, I know that the hospital will probably provide one of these but I'm also going to be bringing one just to be safe and I'm also bringing this was also a gift to me from the this is a nozzle aspirator and medicine dropper that I'm going to be bringing um, the hospital will probably provide this, but I do want to bring my own just in case. This right here is a PPTP. This is basically for whenever you are changing your baby, you can put these on. Well, for me, I have a son, so I will be able to put this on his little wee wee. And um, it will like kind of stop him from spraying me while I'm changing him or anything like that if he decides to do that so so bringing two of these little um, blanket type these are really thin blankets and they're really small I'm going to be bringing these two and then I'm also going to be bringing a regular blanket this was also gifted to me for my baby shower this was a gift for my mother so I'm going to be bringing this one I'm also going to bring my own set of wipes for him just because I'm not really sure what um, wipes the hospital uses I will be bringing wipes and pampers um, with me so yeah then I'm also toddlers or yeah two swaddlers for him these are just two of them that I'm going to be bringing um, with me i know that the hospital do provide them but again like i said i do wanted to bring my own things and i also will be bringing these um pacifier wipes for my baby because i know like a lot of times pacifiers will fall and it, they can it honestly is really easy for the pacifiers to fall and that is basically it for what i'm bringing for what i'm bringing for the baby just because the hospital does provide a lot of things for your baby um yeah they will most likely provide a lot of things that you need for the baby so you don't have to bring too much because they already have it for you like they send you home with things they provide things there for you and you're not necessarily going to be in the hospital for a long time again like I said I do overpack with my stuff and the baby stuff but a lot of the stuff I won't need I just been watching a lot of what's in my hospital bag videos and I'm just kind of going off of those off of other lists off of my um, advice people that I've gone to for advice their list so yeah basically it for my what's in my hospital bag tag for my baby and myself I'm counting down 11 days until the day that I give birth maybe sooner but who knows but yeah again like I said in the beginning of the video you guys this is stuff that I feel like I will need um, based off of what I've seen other people, you know, pack in their bags and kind of, I'm a first time mom, so I don't really know a lot of the stuff, but I do know certain things that I kind of already knew that I wanted to bring with me. So these are those things. So I hope that you guys really like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you do subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you're not new, welcome back. Welcome back and drop a comment in the comment box about what else you think maybe I should bring to um, with me to the hospital. Again, I'm 38 weeks. 